What's up? This is Alex Chu coming at you with another episode. This episode, I want to uh, compare pasta making machine, okay? Hand crank pasta machine making machines. Um, and I want to tell you which one to avoid, okay? Uh, the ch you should buy an expensive one, not the cheap ones, okay? But anyway, before I talk about that, I want to tell you my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small finger, string sleepy, wear them, you don't age anymore. For example, I'm already 53. If you look at me, I'm pretty slim, right? See, I, n I never work out, you know? You can tell I don't have any up muscles on my on my uh, abdomen. Um, if you go to my website, livemuchlonger.com, I have lots of testimonials on my website. Most of them give me four star, five stars. These are Amazon customer reviews, okay? If you want to look like me when you're 53, livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com. Link is at the bottom of this video. Yeah, today uh, I want to compare two kind of pasta machine. One is this. This is a cheap ass piece of shit machine that I bought for like $29 or $30 from eBay. Okay? It's it's already broken. This is a, this is a piece of shit machine. But anyway, you you check out the review, okay? Hey, today we're going to be doing a review of a uh, Dodo Jia. It's called Dodo Jia uh pasta maker. Okay? Uh, a serious pasta maker. I mean, this is look at how big this is. This thing from from top all the way to bottom is probably like 14 inches tall, you know. And side to side, it's like 12 or 13 inches long. There's a hand crank right here. Okay, I recommend buying something like this. You know, I don't recommend you buying cheap shit like this one. Oh man, this thing I bought I bought this for like what $29 on eBay and broke. Okay, first of all, I mean this shit is so cheap. The gear is so small. And then look at what I look, look at it's already did, did, did you see that? The the gear, right? It's the, the tooth is already it's probably already cracked. The tooth has probably chipped. That's the reason why you know, at first it was okay. When I pushed the dough into it, at first it's okay. But then sometimes I get lazy and I, my dough is too thick. And then when I, when I, you know, try to force a thick dough into this roller, and the the tooth, the the gear tooth, they just crack. And now it's like this. Look at that. Now it it just doesn't work anymore. It, this thing is like, and then it wobbles too because this is so flimsy. This is see how 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 thin that the steel is right and it wobbles every time I use this thing it just keeps on wobbling and the whole thing is the joints everything is becoming loose and also this thing come with this right see you're supposed to attach this onto a uh, it doesn't matter you're supposed to attach it onto like that you know this thing this uh, this is also a piece of shit look at that I open it up it's, it's the gear is made of plastic look at that and now this 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 blade is totally it's broken. It's to totally broken. It doesn't work. When I put the handle onto this, I try to roll it. One one blade turn, but the other blade doesn't turn. It just like totally it just like broke. Because this plastic gear, they don't turn anymore. When I'm turning this, the plastic gear, they just don't turn anymore. Look at that. So I don't re I I don't recommend you buying some cheap shit like this. I bought this for like twenty nine dollars on eBay. When you see something like this, twenty nine dollar, it throw it, don't buy it, man. Don't click on the buy button. So I have to waste twenty nine dollars, thirty dollars on that. Then I bought this on eBay. I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom of this video for this, okay? This thing cost me a uh, hundred dollars. Yeah, including shipping, it's like hundred and four dollars. But it's totally worth it. You you know why? Because look, look at it. Look at the blade of the thing, man. It only come with one setting, though. It only come with one one size. This blade is a thir uh, three millimeter blade, so it's perfect for you to make uh, spaghetti and also udon. You know the Japanese udon. If the Though it's a little thicker, you can make udon. If the dough is a little thinner, it makes perf it makes perfect spaghetti. Look at how big the this gear is. Look at that. Look at the look at the gear. 
It's made of solid steel. Look at that. Look at how big this gear gear is. Look at that. Now this is serious shit, man. This is some serious uh, pasta machine. This is no joke, man. This this thing is no joke, you know. And the blade inside the roller is also huge. They are huge steel blades, you know, huge steel blades on both ends. You know, this you cannot I cannot open it, so you cannot see it. But you just look at the the, the Okay, and, and uh, now I'm going to do a little demonstration. See? It's a piece of dough, right? Look at it. Trust me, if, if I use this, this machine, if I, if, I, if I use this machine, you know, this dough, it's so thick, it's going to totally break it. This thing would just crack, like, immediately. The, 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 the tooth, right? The gear tooth, they would just chip. Look at, look, at how, look at how thick this dough is. But if I use this machine... See, I put it up here. Try to catch it from here. Like, no problem at all. Well, I have to... I, I don't have a stabilizer here, so it's moving around, but... It... Yeah, you're supposed to use a stabilizer to, you know, to pin it to the table. I don't have a stabilizer right now, so that's the reason why this machine is moving around. You see? You see? You, you, you see how heavy-duty this thing is? You, you see how thick the dough was? And now it's like this thin. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to put a little more flour on the dough. I just use a... Like a container, right? Put a little more flour on the dough. Dust it up a little bit. Now I do it again, right? And it's... Uh, Look, they just come out like that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful the noodle is. Look at that. This is like spaghetti. This is spaghetti, okay? Because this is a thinner noodle. But look at how beautiful it is. It just comes right out. No problem at all. Comes right out. Look at that. You know, if I if I use this machine, okay, if I use this machine, right, this small machine, right, if I feed this into the blade, what happens is it's going to spew out, right, but the noodle is all going to be sticking together. It, it Basically, it doesn't work. When I have this machine, I can only use it to roll into a, into a sheet of uh, dough, right, but then if I try to use this, right, try to use this noodle cutter, it just doesn't cut. I mean... It, it they they come out the noodle is not separated the, the noodles like stick together it's so I don't know it's a piece of shit machine so anyway this is my comparison okay if you want to buy a noodle maker you know you pasta roller or whatever you buy something like this don't don't spend money on on a piece of shit machine like this you know this thing doesn't work you know you buy something like this I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom of this video so you know so it's on eBay you could go find it yourself. Anyway, that's what I want to say for this episode. I hope you like my uh, review. Speak to you.